Welcome to Nuts at Night, episode number 108, the show on the Pod Nuts Network where, wow, I guess anything goes but not everything. Anything goes but not everything. Yeah, it works. It works out. And uh, we bring, what we do is we basically bring to this show things we might think you're interested in, like funny stuff we find on the internet or, or you guys submit or we read on our Google Plus or somebody sends us a, a video of like, I don't know, the biggest water balloon fight ever or I don't know, other things that we probably can't talk about right now. And um, we go over them on the show, and uh, we see if we try to, you know, provide some entertainment for the week. So maybe you could share some crazy stuff with your friends too. It's usually tech centric, but it doesn't have to be. We kind of go all over the range here. Let me introduce the co-hosts for tonight's show. Start off with we well, got to start off with one of the um, long-standing co-hosts first, which is Chris Barry from TechnologyAdventures.com. What's up, Chris? Hey guys, uh, I'm sick. I've had some cough medicine and a few beers, and there's fruit flies flying around me, so it's going to be a good show. Are you sure there's <laughs> fruit flies, or are you just not, seeing fruit flies? Totally not totally sure. <laughs> <laughs> also joining us, I don't know, this might be the second time Dora has ever joined us, Steve McLaughlin, the Door-to-Door -door Geek. We know that you know him. What's up, Door? Hey, guys. Uh, just excited to be on the show. Uh, I hope I uh, keep up to par the standards that have been met by Liam and Steve D and Chris and Eric. Uh, it's a hard task, but I'm going to do a good job here. Man. And that is literally the first time I ever heard the word standards and those guys' names in one sentence. Uh, honestly, I um, the coning is new planking. Best video ever, Dude. period. Uh, more than a couple links that I've learned from this show, I've shared with friends and coworkers, and they just laugh hysterically. And like, where do you come up with this stuff? And, eh. Ancient Chinese secret. Yeah. It really <laughs> is. Before I introduce our last co-host, well, let me introduce him now, and then I'll say a quick thing. Eric Ardini from SiliconWrench.com. What's up, Eric? Oh, um, not much. I'm just here to uphold the web standards of HTML with uh, the rest of you guys and have some fun tonight. Uh, oh. Bring a couple things. <laughs> there we go. I told you, my, every time I laugh, my back hurts. Oh, oh no. we're gonna have to keep it really <laughs> not funny tonight. Oh man. No, no, thanks for joining us. Worst show ever. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is uh, the, face, the Nuts at Night Facebook page at Facebook slash Nuts at Night, um, I've actually used that as when I'm like, you know, I'm bored or like I'm hanging out with my brother and I'm like, well, what do you want to do? Let me show you some funny stuff. Like, and I use that page as like, just go down the list and just show them this after this. After. It's a great thing to bring to like parties and stuff like that. So be the cool guy, go to facebook.com slash nuts at night, find all the stuff we talk about and show it to your friends. And they'll be like, where do you get all that stuff? Where do you, get? and just be like nuts at night, man. You didn't know. It'll help the show too. It's cool that, you know, someone can be a cool guy and show stuff on YouTube and stuff. Because I remember when I was a kid, if I would have pulled out my computer at a party and showed somebody something cool on my computer, I probably would have been punched right in the face. <laughs> right? So, it's true. It's, it's pretty sweet that you can do that now. It's nice. true. And uh, thank you, Eric Salsay, for uh, upkeeping the uh, Nuts at Night homepage or the Nuts at Night Facebook page. All right, Chris, start us off for tonight. What do you have, my friend? Okay, uh, I'm sick, so, you know... Just you know, bear with me. What I have is what I have. Uh, the number one thing I just want to talk about, and usually, usually I don't bring links, so I'm going to talk about what I like to talk about is technology and the whole Netflix debacle. What the heck is going on? This company. So I don't know what's going on in August. That was just a weird month. In September, it's coming into it as well. What what happened to all these CEOs? They've just lost their freaking minds. You know, yeah. Netflix was like the number one company. Everyone was like, oh, them and Amazon, you know, wow, what, what smart CEOs they have with smart companies. They just, they're doing it right. They know what to do. You know, companies were putting Netflix buttons on remote controls like Sony and all these, like just awesome, like going in the right direction. And what happened to these people? What they, I, I don't know what they did. Quickster, what the frick is that? I, I have no idea what is happening with the, with, everything just changing the the pricing scheme for no reason it's just a disaster what what happened why did why are all these companies doing all these things i, I don't well, i just don't get it let me just say for anybody who doesn't know yet netflix the ceo of netflix sent out uh 
a blog posting and an email to all subscribers and people who have canceled because I got mine after I canceled called an explanation and some reflections. And it starts off by saying, I messed up. I owe everyone an explanation. And he goes on to explain that he messed, they messed up and, um, <laughs> they basically he's saying he messed up and saying in their, when they changed the price, the intention was not to rip everybody off. That was basically wh why he's saying he messed up. Then he goes on to actually mess up even more and okay. announce that he's breaking off the DVD section of Netflix into a company called Quickster and keeping the streaming as Netflix. And he has a crazy excuse about you still get your red envelopes and stuff like this. I mean, it's just nuts. I, I agree with you, Chris. You build up this brand, and you build it up, and you build it up, and everyone loves it, and it's basically splattered all over the place, Netflix, and then you change it. I, I mean, I don't, I don't well, get it. And, like, here's the kicker. It isn't Quickster. It's Quickster. There's a W. Q-W. I-K, right? There's no C, right? Yeah, yeah, I did a search, and the stuff that came up at, on the search when I first looked for it, I was slightly offended. It's, yeah, it's yeah. impossible to spell. I mean, uh, right off the bat, if, once you get it there and you can save it yeah, in your it, favorites or whatever, but... It's well, not yeah, but spelled Q-U-I-C-K-S-T-E-R. This... It's not spelled right. that way. And if you do spell it that way, <laughs> yeah. the second <laughs> listing, this is almost as bad as that game you brought, Girk, remember, oh, Dor? Geez, this is thanks. even almost as bad. This is more of an epic failure because this is like... <laughs> There's shareholders at stake here. Um, so these are internet companies. Sorry, w wouldn't the first thing you would do is when you came up with the, the, the brand is go, okay, how would people misspell it and do a Google search on it just to see what comes up and go, ah, that might not be the best one. Exactly. Because the it, second listing is the Urban Dictionary where quickster means first definition, being able to get girls in the sack quick. <laughs> now, thanks to Russ Wenner, I was not aware of I, I, He right. made us aware of this on Linux for the rest of us. I did not even know that. And as soon as I Googled it, it's like right staring you in the face. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll say this. That really shouldn't matter. They have enough money to buy that domain of it properly yeah. spelled, and they have enough resources to totally turn the ship of SEO to where that link would be on page 1500. It's and like they, they decided right? yesterday, they went, ah, crap, we better do something. Okay, right. this is a good idea. Let's do that. And that was it. There was no, you know, right. let's think about it for 48 hours and you yeah. know figure things out. It was just like, okay, let, let's do that. Everyone does that. But, you know, when I do it, you know, there's 11 people that notice, you know, when Netflix does it, it's, you know, 11 million, right? Right. And, yeah. and if they're thinking, well, let's make it sound like Napster or Friendster. Well, you know, they use the actually the, the right way to spell nap and friend. Yeah. You know, it, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is they went into the lunchroom and asked the lunch lady. <laughs> right. <laughs> they yeah. didn't even ask her. I bet she would have more sense. The thing, well, yeah. the thing that gets me, what I would have done is I would just call it Netflix DVD. Just call it yeah. Netflix DVD. Well, yeah, Not that cool. sounds, yeah, that'd be easy enough. That's what I would have yeah. done. Yeah, I, I can only assume people who left HP went to Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> the guys on the WebOS team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so oh, well, oh, well, are you ready? Here's the kicker. They're looking at firing the CEO of HP, who was the deciding factor in getting rid of WebOS, getting rid of the consumer products altogether, and they're looking at hiring Meg supposedly Meg Whitman. <laughs> eBay genius who bought yeah. Skype but forgot yeah. to buy the actual underlying technology. <laughs> oh, Lord, this and, doom, and ran doom. Yahoo, which is just, you know, the most successful company I've ever heard of. Oh, so here's yeah. the thing. And Chris. She's such a class act. Oh, dude, here's the thing. I think <laughs> if if it's not CEO slash founder, you're screwed. I think CEOs are not smart people <laughs> for the most right. part. And they bounce from company to company just holding that rank because that's where they kind of found their their niche. They don't I mean, and if you look at their statistics, probably a lot of them don't do good and I bet you we could manage more much better than most CEOs out there, honestly. Um yeah. so I think it's I think a lot of them are actually like this, but the fact that we're seeing some epic failures now, I mean, I think if the only way to be a good CEO is if if you founded the company and you're the CEO, then you might not make dumb decisions like that like Quickster. Uh, now, Chris, you Chris, you kind of scared me in your preface up to this uh this topic because you also brought in amazon that makes me wonder well what what are they going to do now you know all the other big companies are 
totally messing up, and I haven't seen him totally mess up yet. I was worried. Well, he's still. That's because Bezos is still the CEO, right? True. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Yeah. Exactly. So then, yeah. then, then, then the question comes to, and that if if what you guys are saying is correct, then Apple is effed. Yes. Oh. Because. Yeah. Because he's the CEO of all CEOs, right? Steve well, Jobs was the CEO yeah, of all CEOs. Yeah, but he's still on the board. And I'll say as long as he has a hand involved, and by a hand involved, an iron fish smashing people in the face, the company's going to be fine. I think it's going to take multiple years for him to really get disconnected or pass away for the company to have an actual impact impact. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're probably right. I agree. But I think they peaked. If you ask me, oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah, that was an interesting topic. I was going to bring that one, that quickster thing. It's nuts. Anybody have us anything? Anything else on that, or should we move on? I'll just say my wife ain't. Going, she has no problem paying two bills, as long as she gets her addiction of her shot right into the arm of quantum leap bones. <laughs> The mentalist. Yeah. yeah. My wife right yeah. now is upstairs watching the new Grey's Anatomy. So, you know, like she knows about this. She's like, I don't know. What are they when they want eight dollars? Just give me eight dollars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, crazy. okay. Yeah. So. I think I actually think they were pretty they were too cheap to begin with. So I, I think agree. I yeah. think the price hike had to enter, um happen eventually, but I don't know. This mm-hmm. whole thing is just getting messy. Yeah, I take it like how you guys talk about computer business, which is you can't start out cheap and then raise your rates. Customers will revolt. You start out with a fair price, but still making money. So when the time comes, you're already making money. You don't have to raise rates. Unless you use your cheap price as your selling factor. Yeah, but makes it hard to up the price later like they are now. Yep. 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 Not many companies are successful doing it that way. Hmm. All right. Good point. All right, Dor, why don't you go next and then we'll do Eric. Okay, I honestly think this site might have been mentioned a long time ago on Nuts at Night, but I'll say I rediscovered it uh, not too long ago, so I wanted to make sure people know about it. It's, it is called awkwardfamilyphotos.com, and there's a category called Hall of Fame. If you need a reminder of how normal you are, how normal your family is, and you're like a Jerry Springer fan, let's say, you love laughing at people not as smart as you, less fortunate than you, this is the site for you. Um, They basically get submitted family (laughs) pictures from people. Now, most of these pictures are seriously 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. I honestly, everyone I look at, they, I can almost put money on it. They ain't photoshopped because this stuff is too weird to be photoshopped. <laughs> like this one. It's a picture of some three kids with Santa and Santa has like this horrible black eye. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell yep. he just got in a fight. That is right. so awesome. Behind the awkwardness Memorial Day special. What the Oops. hell is happening here? <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> Nobody has pants on. There's like, there's oh like, my they God. Almost look like they're in a, I thought at first I thought it was a bedroom, but it looks more like. Or at first I thought it was a hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> but now I see it's a bedroom, and nobody has pants no on. No one two has people, pants on. Two people right. have long shirts, and then there's a guy and a gal. Two gals standing next to the bed, smiling, and then a guy and a gal in bed. <laughs> the guy has no, maybe no clothes on whatsoever. I think the day. person holding the baby is a guy, isn't it? The only person uh, that has pants is, is the newborn. The newborn has pants. Everyone else has no <laughs> pants. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. What else we got here? Well, and if you go to the next page, <laughs> it, there's one called... Oh, that Hoop. one's awesome. I love that. <laughs> this <laughs> is the best. I want to get that on a t-shirt. <laughs> you know, dude, look at the kid and the, the two guys. <laughs> so so oh, the man, they're about child to hop that those two gay lovers got? Yeah, oh, that is so wicked. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, this is the one I like because this is staged where he thinks he's being smart and cute and inventive. It's not. He has his hand on his pregnant girlfriend's or wife's belly, pretending like he's slam dunking it through a hoop. <laughs> I mean, I give that guy props. I don't care what you say. I, I to, to get your wife to do that and to actually take a professional photo like that. 
Uh, uh, she must have been drinking is all I'll say. Yeah, she's like, whatever you want to do, as long as you don't leave me after it's here. Or something like <laughs> right. And and then there's just <laughs> abnormal ones, I'll say. Uh, yeah, what's with the big pencil? <laughs> I don't know. That's a sweet outfit. That is a, that is the 80s right there. What the hell is I... this? <laughs>